Fighters, this is the main event. You've been giving your instructions. Let's keep it clean. Protect yourselves at all time and obey my commands. If you want to touch gloves, touch now. Go back to your corners and let's do this. Odds courtesy of Bet Online. The favorite is the Brazilian, Herbelch Souza, at minus 160. The comeback on the underdog. The dogs have been barking to a night, plus 140 for Muin Gafaroff. This is the LFA number 134 main event. A pivotal matchup here in the Bantamweight division. Whoa. Gafaroff throwing some heat. Yeah, I was just gonna say look out early for the overhand rights of Muin. He, he wings them very nicely, sits people down with them all the time. Erbet Sosa though said he's he knows to look out for that hand speed of it and also the spinning attacks. Moeen has tremendous spinning attacks with the kicks. 14 first round finishes for Gafarov. 10 for Souza. He's winging that right hand. I mean, he's really looking for the target. 100%. <laughs> And you see the difference in styles, right, when it comes to striking. This is what I was alluding to before the fight. Uh, two knockouts coming from Sosa, where uh, Gafarov has nine knockouts. And you right. see the way that they throw. Beautiful spinning attack right there. Sosa right in on his first single leg right now. And this is what he wanted to do. Scores the takedown, told us he's going to use aggressive jujitsu. This is going to be an interesting exchange right here. Yeah. Both men felt very confident. Still, Souza just came down on his head. It happens when you go head outside single like this. It can sit you down and it doesn't feel good, but both men still fighting the position. If Souza's not able to get this, he's going to have to try to get his left arm out and go double leg. Still working on the single leg takedown. Sprawling and oh. delivering some nasty oh. elbows. I couldn't tell if he was going limp or he was just going yes. to these change levels. Oh, Look at his scramble right here. Sosa gets the takedown, but Gafroff back up on his feet. Gafroff not giving up. So many fighters would have went to their back in a number of times in these positions. Great you point. see Gafroff, he's so good. And it's in pride as well, pride at stake. Both of these men with the Sambo and the Jiu-Jitsu backgrounds colliding in this matchup. Halfway through the opening round. Action main event. Souza making the switch from the double leg. It wasn't there. Great choice right here. Let go of the double, switch to the single immediately. Not able to get this right here. And, and Muin's been racking up points with these elbows, though. I don't typically love to see fighters strike when they're about to be taken down because it gives up position. But Gafarov is so good at holding the position, trying to land some strikes. As I'm saying that now, Souza was able to complete this takedown. Now, Sosa climbing on the back, Gafarov. Sosa told us to be aware of his guillotine choke. Felt he could have some success. There we go, Gafarov. Gafarov delivers a strong knee to the body. Oh! Souza's trying to recover right now. That was a huge shot. What power! Oh. And now Gaffer's got the choke lock the there. Naked choke. Again, he's in a bad spot. Pressed against the fence. It's going to make it hard for Gafferov to complete this submission. 50 seconds to go. What a power punch from Gafferov dropping Souza. But Sosa hanging on. And that's the kind of punch that makes up for all the ride time going the other way. It doesn't matter how long you're in your back. If you get up to your feet and you lay somebody out like that, 
that wins you the round. 100%. Or at least it should. <laughs> it should. <laughs> but a great opportunity right there. Gafroff fighting the takedown, majority of the round. Breaks free for a second, continues with the pressure, lands that big right hand. And is going to finish this round on the back. But what a comeback in momentum in this round. Gafaroff loves to drop those elbows. But it looks like Erbech Sosa was able to at least temporarily shake out the cobwebs as we look at the action in that opening frame. We see this, he's kind of hitting a switch right here, head outside single. This is what I alluded to earlier. Sosa bangs his head on a mat, doesn't phase him, got a great chin as you're gonna see later. Holds on to this takedown attempt right here, fighting it, and you see some of these elbows. Gafarov trying to do some damage, he ends up getting taken down. Watch this right hand right here, mm. laying flush on the chin, comes right over the top, lands it, sits down, Sosa, and finishes the round on top for Gafarov. Gafarov, corner, very animated. And Airbench Sosa. And how about the chin of, uh, of Sosa, Sosa, though? I yeah. mean, that, that shot would have put so many fighters out. Gafarov outstruck Sosa 28 to 6. A big round. How does Sosa respond from the end of that first round? Took a big shot. How long does he want to stand and trade on the feet now after feeling the power? <laughs> Immediately shoots in for the takedown. Looking at the takedowns, Sosa went three for five. Gavarov two of three in that opening round. And Sosa looking for another one here to kick off the second round. Gafferoff so familiar with the octagon. You see him digging his toes in between the fence and the mat. It's such a sneaky little position. Helps you kind of fend off the takedown, and it did so there for him. And credit for Erbech Sosa for just being able to absorb that major strike. As we said, neither of these fighters have ever been finished. Right, yeah, I mean, he, he got knocked down, but recovered right away. Yeah. Shows the kind of chin that he has on him, and a great job right here. Souza right there, fighting for the takedown, didn't give up on it, never went in the straight line, kept finding the corner, turning the corner, eventually got the takedown. Gafroff right back with one of his own. It seems thus far, Ron, what we've seen coming into this fight was Souza taking down people and they don't get up again until the fight's over. He Very submits true. them. Sosa was able to get some takedowns so far, but not hold Gafarov down, and Gafarov reversing him and getting takedowns of his own. And speaking of reversal, Gafarov now takes the back of Sosa, and Sosa gets back up on his feet. These are the moments after all that. Oh! Big shot! shot. He's down! for the first time in his career. Ron, that was crazy. What a huge right hand. He sat him down in the first round with the same right hand off of the break after the grappling exchange. Got out of the grappling exchange in the second round, went right back to it, and this one landed on a target. There was no recovering after that one. Walk off knockout, Moeen Gafferoff. Welcome to the Legacy Fighting Alliance. Tenth career knockout. And what a beautiful way to end this fight for Muin Gafarov. Big right hand over the top, same one that he landed in the first round. You see Souza face plants right there. He was a little bit conscious, and then Gafarov made sure he didn't stay conscious for long. Cleans it up, follows him to the mat with the ground and pound. Referee has to step in. I knew, Ron, after that grappling exchange right there, you knew Souza's arms were going to be tired. He wanted to get yes. some breath to breathe and recover, but Gaffrey was having none of it. He followed him intently, knew that he had the more powerful strikes, the faster hands. 
and was able to clean the job up beautifully in this fight. And Sosa just face planted after that incredible blow delivered by Moeen Gafferoff. Landed a similar shot in the first round that looked like it could have been the end for Herbert Sosa, but he was able to somehow recover, but did not have an answer for the stand-up power Gafferoff in the second round. The 26-year-old from Tajikistan, Moeen Gafferoff, coming off a tough split decision loss in the Contender Series, gets back on the winning track here in Texas tonight. Let's get the official time from Mike Kendall. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Joel Ojeda, calls a stop to this fight. One minute, 56 seconds into the second round, declaring your winner by knockout, Muin Tajir.